All right, so this is an infographic that I've made a long time ago based on my personal experiences that reach certain high flung, high pitched conclusions. So what do we have here? On the left side, we have the technic or the procession of wings, bios, thanatos, bios, both in winging the soul in sahu, uh, in life and posthumously. So the process of winging, winging the ka or ba uh, contained in the soul craft, which is an echogenetic from evodevo with a neurobiological evo evolutionary ba basis, it is a transposition of the soul into the air element or the shadow into the air element according to the ophitic principles. I call it ophitotronics. Now, to achieve such a transposition and transcription of a soul into the air element, it is enough to awaken the double tantric coils and activate office or kundalini up to the ajna chakra. If this is done purely through sexual energy, it results in what, uh, let's call it, a flying smear. However, if we connect it with the heart, or kepa, and the mind, the refined intellect, the Angeli Bonum Agatus Daimones, or a good angel, may be formed, according to the hierarchy or the typology of those beings. Now, this, one, this way, one can create armed servitors and in, uh, be employed in many worlds as a winged creature, it works as a synchronous co-manifestation or co-arising of those beings. So you can be a physical mortal, at the same time you can be, a, let's say, a hired angel. Uh, you can walk uh, through the Saturnian sphere as a death angel and so on and so on. The purpose of it is to relink posthumously with all those entities your core consciousness or your spirit in order to command it. Now... With the right uh, neural muscular or yoga coupling and sustained tantric ignition that is based on gymnosophy and kundalini yoga, it is possible to develop the golden body. So after I managed to conduct this ignition operation, I had three orgasms and a golden body that I've seen with my second sight emerged. That was a delegated part of oneself to the realms of the gods. Now it's nothing easy because nowadays there are both idiots and bigots and uh, forces that try to stop you from achieving this aim, better to keep you as slaves, right, by your masters. And on the right, in collaboration with higher deities, stellar deities, the expansion of the tree of light, life within a person takes years. Now, this is knowledge barred from Judeo-Christians, both Jews and Christians will never achieve it, they were never kings or emperors. However, I'm working with the Egyptian, Babylonian, Sumerian and Akkadian traditions, should eventually or may eventually lead you to become sublimated into a minor deity as committed to the Igigi gods. Every self-respecting occultist knows vitriol in the depths of the earth, meaning the abyss Tartarus. If you submerge your soul and heart in it, it will transmute into a philosopher's stone and one can expound on it endlessly. Now, lawyer thief is my own creation, it is the level of life after the descent. Through the law of invincible labor, the rounded initial virtue is rectified into a star god. Vitriol loyalty is a dyadic formula, and after a post mortem ascension, it becomes the formula of tris magis tos. The suffix tos represents the active form of performance. If someone knows what they're talking about, they can simplify it. I hope this simplification is sufficient for someone to attempt the experimenting. The second option is regulated, meaning the whims of a mortal don't count for much here, and the gods are not mindless beings. In other words, you must be appointed, if there is any substance matter, to rectify into a little god posthumously. Now, this process is stripped down to bare necessities, as there are plenty of uh, obscurities and occultations. That means that earth is a swamp nowadays. The spirits and souls are most often regulated by those scoundrel traitor Judeo-Christian vermin. And uh, you must find a way to bypass it. The best way to bypass it is to submerge your soul in the abyss. Not a very easy operation. It 
then takes years to stabilize after the veils of Isis are shed because those who pass are misters. In other words, they are invited to see the world of gods and goddesses and ignore the detritus of earth, to see the world of spirits and ignore belief systems. Now, how come that they are Judeo-Christian angels? They are made from mortals that are bigoted, fanatical, and uh, basically they are uh, slaves that are like in a panopticon guarding their own believing sheep and slaves so that they don't go too far. So this much that, this much this. I wish you happy and wingment away from this uh, grand lie. In the past, in the ancient past, it was much easier to epitomize yourself, heroize yourself both in life and posthumously. Nowadays, it is on the brink of a miracle to escape and evade those pigs that attempt to recruit the so-called elect but they never go any further than the stratosphere. That means even those who are unwinged are within a prison of their masters and priesthoods of earth, while the priesthoods of earth can go any higher because they are traitors to Babylon, Trice Great and Egypt and the star gods. So nobody wants traitors up there in the stars or in the planetary spheres. The intelligences posthumously you may be assigned to the uh, planetary sphere of Mars, of Jupiter, of Saturn, of Venus, of Mercury, and so on, so on. But most of us, in majority, are staying on Earth. And most of us, thanks to this treason, are drowning in the green shit of Thanatos, meaning in death, turning into shadows, and slowly decaying, fading away into destruction. So, you can thank Judeo-Christianity for this treason because they abruptly ended all mysteriosophy, gnosiology and the holy traditions, replacing it with a rotten cadaver on the cross. So uh, that's why I'm often uh, rebellious or raging against those idiots, because they led to so much suffering, so much destruction of souls, and uh, it is a metaphysical catastrophe that uh, I may only thank the gods for my survival because I was assaulted continuously throughout years with this knowledge only. Don't let it spread, don't let anyone know. So, as I witnessed also censorship on some magical groups, and it is a secret, there are pigs guarding their secrets without achieving anything at all. That is their secret, but they won't share it with the rest because they might actually succeed. They, they won't succeed, they're pigs. So, Mm, that much said, have fun. Thank you.